things are tough right now, but take away the pandemic, and this is the type of year, season, when things get harder for NQTs in the depths of winter. So here are some simple reminders for NQTs watching, developing good behaviour strategies over time. Here are my 10 um, on the screen. I won't go through them all in detail. Uh, you can follow the links on the video. But essentially, plan for learning, not doing. The five-minute lesson plan will help you shape this thinking as well as reduce your workload. Share your success criteria or objectives that don't necessarily need to be written down. Be clear and precise is what I would advocate. And support your relationships with your pupils by clear instruction. I'm a big fan of behaviour scripts. Um, sweat the small stuff. Sometimes you need to repeat yourself 15, 16, 17 times if it needs to be. But when you do, make sure it's clear, make sure you're calm, and make sure the student and yourself are following the whole school policy rules. Um, be consistent in your decisions. Tip number six, always explain your decisions. And more importantly, offer students a choice. But make sure you are specifying what those choices are, not the student. Tip number nine, always remind them of the expectations, your expectations, the schools, their parents, fellow colleagues, as well as the consequences for their action. Always make sure that is communicated. And then number 10, whatever you say you're going to do, follow it through. Students will find the gaps, and if you also ignore it, you're condoning it. Uh, finally, seven tips for following a script. Now, you can take calling out in class or throwing, throwing a chair across the classroom as two simple extreme examples of managing behaviour. But essentially, let's take the smallest. A simple pep talk will make a difference. A verbal warning, then perhaps move seats or a note in the planner, or a quick 30 seconds after the class, a quick pep talk, motivation or expectations. You want to move formally, then a sanction after the lesson, during lunchtime, after school. Of course, this during the pandemic is going to be a bit different right now. Then an imposition, a formal detention, whatever it would be, and then start to, again context is key, but involve a second adult, and this may also be the parents.